John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the PV Classic. Now the PV Classic has been around a long time, like 20 some years, and it's actually become a true classic. And the new model is much like the old. They haven't really changed the secret recipe because it is kind of the ultimate working musician amp. I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording it. Um, right now, I'm playing my, uh, my Gretsch Black Falcon. I don't know the model number, but it's got a block in the middle of it. A little later on, I'll play a, a Telecaster, a uh, Force Telecaster. And then I'll also, this amp is a really great harmonica amp. So I got to show you what that does as well, because it is perfect for that kind of stuff. Okay, so our recording setup is a little bit unorthodox, because the, the, all the controls are on the top. So in order for you to see that, I've got it laying on its back and with the 12 inch speaker just blowing straight up. We're miking that with a Royer R121 mic and that's going into an Apache Quartet into Pro Tools. So basically, I'm just plugging straight in, blowing and going with the, um, with the amp blowing towards the, what's the, towards the Royer. So you can kind of see as we adjust. And as you can see, as we came in, I had it uh, I had the three band EQ flat, um, the boost was off, uh, nothing in the effects loop, which is a great feature that it has. Um, I was in the dirty channel and just kind of using my volume to, the volume on the guitar to go from slightly dirty to very dirty. But I ran it, you know, ran it pretty hot. That, that uh, preamp was way up there and the post was down quite a bit. Um, and I was, um, if we want to, later on, we use the proprietary foot switch to go between the different channels. So, because it's a two channel amp, and also the foot switch controls the boost um, on it as well. Now, if you don't have a foot switch, you can control it all with buttons, but foot, foot switch is cool. So this all tube 30 watt amp runs on four EL84s and three 12AX7 preamp tubes. It's a classic combination and gives you a ton of variety, which I'll show you as we go. Comes with a 12 inch speaker, but it has a speaker out option down there on the back of it as well. So if you want to run another cabinet, it has more than enough power to give you all of that. So enough of my yakking, why don't I just spin some knobs, play a little bit, and you can hear what it sounds like. We'll start in the clean channel. Now it's got this verb that just sounds killer. I mean, it goes extremely wet.
still ringing. So that's that gets as much verb as you could ever hope for, but it's also very cool in a you know more manageable setting. You know, like right there, just sort of dreamy. Um, also, so you know, it gives you that great kind of classic. You know, great for like I don't know rockabilly or jazz. Pretty dreamy, right? So a great clean tone. Now, if you jump on the uh, on the boost, here's it with the boost off. Here it is on. That's more than enough gain to bring you up for a solo. And although it's 30 watts, which doesn't sound like a lot, that is a loud 30 watts. You can pretty much do anything with this. So the three band EQ is a great way to kind of tailor that sound. I like it with the treble down a little bit, maybe the mids up a scotch, but it just sounds, just sounds great. <laughs> Where the EQ really gets interesting for my money is when you're in the dirty channel because you can boost those mids. Let's go over there right quick. Now that's with the pre all the way up, but if we goose the mids all the way and put on the boost, this thing is shockingly overdriven. I mean, that is dirty. I could not imagine wanting to be dirtier than that. So that's the basics with a Gretsch. Kind of shocking that a Gretsch plugged into a PV classic sounds that over the top. Let me show you something really cool, uh, another application for this. So as you can see with the Gretsch, it sounds great, but here's a really cool application. I've got this PV Red, uh, Red Bullet, whatever it is, mic. It's a killer harp mic or harp, uh, harp amp. I mean, come on, man. That's in the dirty channel. And amazingly, it's really loud without feeding back. So, this, I actually have had one of these amps for years and I've used it in clubs and use it both on guitar and harp. It just really works well. In, in the cleaner channel, you get a, a sweeter tone too. So there's an unusual application for you harp players out there that you know, need something like that. Okay, let's see how it sounds with the Telecaster so you can get the whole single coil taste test. Uh, this is just a Forest Telecaster with DiMarzio pickups. Now it's, it's really got a great, just classic clean thing. That's all well and good, but I like it with a little bit of dirt. Let's put the pre right in the middle, leave this EQ 
basically flat and see what that does. <laughs> Great, right? Nice snarly kind of single coil bit. So there it is. Those are the basic details on the PV Classic 30. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our ever-growing YouTube channel. And check out our Premier Guitar podcast. They are super fun. It's John Bolger. Till next time. <laughs>